Hello, Martin here from the CCL Academy Tutor Team, uh, just with some key takeaways from the April 2020 Compliance Updater. Now, as you've seen, it's very much dominated, as we continue to be, dominated by the coronavirus uh, and the issues arising from that. And I think there's a couple of areas that are worth repeating, worth reinforcing as takeaways. The major one very much reputational dangers. We've seen that Shake Shack and other large US companies potentially suffering from the reputational damage through sadly complying with the rules of a scheme, but not complying with what people view as the spirit of the scheme. The spirit of the scheme was helping small, probably unlisted firms gain support. Uh, and of course, these large firms, despite following the rules uh, and accessing the scheme, not in the spirit. Similarly, the UK's FCA and the insurers. We know that insurance firms, normally when they handle claims for business interruption or anything else, will go through those things carefully, make sure they comply. Well, given what's going on with coronavirus and given the fact that a payout on a business interruption policy could make the difference between survival and collapse, the FCA is encouraging quicker settlement, uh, at least part settlement, uh, of those claims. And the other point in an M&A context is this whole material adverse change, which is the big question mark over whether, despite awareness of pandemics as a possibility, and actually this virus perhaps already being uh, reported in the news, the sheer scale uh, of this coronavirus, is that enough to make this a material adverse change in the context of an M&A deal. I think both those areas worth taking away uh, from the compliance updater there. Uh, thanks ever so much. Uh, I've been Martin, CCL Academy, Tudor team. Thanks for your time and speak to you again soon.